Hello everyone, this is Bamadeli from Delaware Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. I'll be talking about the Android Date Speaker. Uh, where we'll be talking about um, the dates and the calendar and also the time, which is going to be focused on the present date. Okay, uh, without much uh, ado, let me move straight to my Android application. Uh, so I'll be using the Android Studios as the uh, development environment uh, to actually code this up. Uh, I will I'll give you a high level rundown of how the application actually is. It's a simple application whereby we're just going to be talking about uh, just one Java class or one activity. Okay, all right, uh, in my Android Studio, uh, I have the drawable, the layout, the menu, and the values, and also uh, the uh, the Java class, the main activity. I'll start from the layout. Let us see how the layout actually is, because it's from the layout you extract some um, some ID to use in the Java class, and the layout is the UI of the application. Okay, this is a linear layout with the layout width and uh, and the height of filling, which is filling the parent. Okay, it has a width sum of ten, so I assign an ID to the lay uh, to the to the linear layout, which is common layout with a background of white. Okay, FFF. Okay, it's there's a child uh, scroll view which has an ID of scroll view one. Okay, uh, the width and height is wrap content, not view parent. This time is wrapping the content of the parent. Okay, it follows under it the linear layout which actually holds uh, the date picker. The time picker and the table row, okay, because we're going to be talking about the date, you know, the time, and also uh, the calendar, which is going to serve as a table row, okay. Afterwards, we have the footer, uh, just you know, it says it's just a uh, uh, a linear layout as well, but the visibility turned to visible, and the Android orientation is horizontal, okay. Uh, let's look at the design view. Probably we're going to see something. Uh, see how the ui is going to look okay if you can look at this this is how the ui is going to be uh the date speaker uh the calendar and the time okay that's fine uh let me go straight to my uh java class which is the date picker main activity okay uh let's see what's been imported here we imported the view on click listener the button the date picker the time picker and the toast okay and we also import the the directory to the date picker uh our uh java class okay it is going to extend the activity uh we're going to set up some some variables here the button the time picker tp the date picker dp they are null as first okay we're going to override the uncreate method uh calling on the super uncreate save instance state and we're going to set the content view to the layout we talked about the activity date speaker main xml okay now we're going to assign some stuff to this uh, variable dp which is uh, the date speaker so we're going to cast on the date speaker to the view we get which is going to be by the id of the date speaker and also the tp which is the time picker we're going to uh, cast on that to also to the view of the time picker from the id time picker which is gotten from the activity date picker okay now we're going to have a button and also we're going to assign the button id from the activity as well and we're going to set an on click listener to this body whereby we're going to call on the string uh string date time which is going to equals to the value the dp which is the the, the date picker we're going to get the year method we're going to concatenate it with an iPhone. We're going to get a month and we continually add one to the month. Okay. And we're going to concatenate it also with an iPhone. Okay. We're going to get the, the day of month. Okay. These are, these are gotten from the library or from the import or uh, date speaker. Okay. Uh, we're going to get the hour, the current hour. Okay. Falling from the TP, which is the time picker this time. And we're going to concatenate it with an iPhone, and also we get the current time. Okay, we're going to toss those this peacefully if it's been set fine. Okay, that's okay. 
All right, let's look at the Android Manifest. Android Manifest also, you know, has a, it's just a normal Android Manifest we've been used to. Or we have the Internet, which is the launcher. And also we set on the activity of the main, which is the only activity of this application. Okay, it's a simple one. I would like to run this in my Android, uh, in my Journey Motion Emulator. For us to be able to view and see what's happening there. Okay, I click on my run button. All right. Then bring my Android, uh, my journey motion to foreground. Okay, journey motion. That's fine. Okay, we have something of this nature, whereby we can set uh, the month, April. Okay, this is April six. No, that's a present month. That's why it's getting there. Got it from the uh, present month of the system, April six. Okay. So you can decide to set it to a further date, like April 9. If you notice, it's affecting the calendar. Okay, that's fine. And also the time, you can decide to, to, to pick up another time, 6, uh, 3, at uh, p.m. So the on click list now will be set to the button, which uh, you can also do that. That's just going to be a lesson to my, to my students. I want you to, to set up a button, you know, I've already coded out, but I want you to just set up the button, call on the ID. So anytime you set this up and you click on it, you know, it pops up the value of what you set. The value you probably set up the value of the time, and also you can add it together, and also the value of the date. Okay, concatenate it, I've done it, but I want you to implement it in this application. It's a very simple one shot. Uh, I hope you've been able to understand one or two things. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.